Now, when we open up Windows Movie Maker, it generally looks as it does now. We have a couple things that we want to adjust so it's a little easier to work with. First thing we want to do is come down here and click on the button that says Show Timeline. It's a lot easier for us to see the video track and the audio track separately. So we can drag pictures down to the video track, we can drag our audio down to the audio music track down here. The next thing we want to do is go up to the top, click on the Tasks button, and notice that we have the, the uh, Capture Video section allows us to import pictures or import audio or music. We can add in the transitions and so forth in the edit section. And when we get totally done, we'll want to do the Save My Computer. Now that's a very important step. That's our final step. We'll come back to that in just a little bit. First thing we'll want to do is import the pictures. So we click on the pictures. We go to the folder where we created those. And I already had it set to come up to that folder. Okay, if I click on one and then hit Control A, it's going to select all of them. Notice that it has them all lined up here where it says file name. Then I can hit import. Okay. Now when they all come in, I can hit control A again and I can drag them on down to the video line. And notice it's going to line them all up. Now it's very important to realize that it's not placing these picture files directly into Movie Maker, it's linking to them, which means that they're not really there. So we have to use the same computer every time until we're done with this project. Uh, we can't work off of a server or anything like that. Uh, we have to make sure that they're on the hard drive that we're actually working on. Import audio, same process. We navigate to where those audio files are. We can select all of them, same way we did with the pictures. Hit import, pull those in, and then we want to select those. Now, selecting them, we can't hit Control A because we'll get the slides as, as well. So we can hold the Control key down and pick up each one, or you can take them down one at a time, whichever you prefer. Once we have all of them, we can drag them, drop them down in the audio, uh, audio music track. Next part is matching them up. We need to readjust the readjust the the slides the pictures to match up to the audio for that slide so we'll go to the zoom in low magnifying glass okay, we can click on the slide and when you see that little red arrow come up you can drag it over and it usually pops kinda grabs right on to where it's supposed to be and if it doesn't you can always just move back until it kinda locks in okay next one same thing we we'll just need to lock them all in We don't have to have transitions for this project. If you want to go and put the transitions in, that's fine. Uh, you'll want to do a little bit of playing around with the transitions because it's a little bit more difficult to match up the pictures and the slide, the pictures and the audio, if you have transitions in there. So once again, you'll have to kind of practice that a little bit. Take your time working those over. All right, when we get it all done, once again, we're working with audio, we're working with video. Um, anything with audio, video, photos, whatever it may be, you need to save every two or three minutes. So we make sure we do a save. Okay. I do want you to have your last name associated with this project somehow or another. So somehow in that that Windows Movie Maker file name. Make sure you have your last name in there. That way I, I know who it is. Hit save. Now remember in the Movie Maker it has everything linked. It's not really the photos of those. And I can play it up here to make sure everything's going to work out fine. And when I get totally done my after my last save, that's where I go to finish. This is where it's really important to make sure that you, you follow this step. If you don't go to the Save to My Computer step and follow this procedure, you're not done. Okay, I cannot grade it until I, you get to this step. Make sure they have the name of your show in there, your last name's in there somewhere or another. Tell me where you're going to put it. In this case, I'm just going to put it in the My Videos folder. I'm going to hit Next. I'm going to leave it at Best Quality for Playback. I'm going to look down here and make sure it says Windows Media Video, WMV, and it tells me that the estimated space is uh, 4.25 megabytes. That's fine. 
hit next. Your shows would be considerably longer. Um, my show is only eight seconds, like for my little how to make a podcast like for example. So you'll you'll be probably about six times that. Okay, thanks for making the video. I'm gonna wait the entire time. When you get done, uh, it'll have that that video saved in whatever folder it is. If you did the my videos folder, fine. Then you need to come get me. Get a flash drive. We'll pull it onto the flash drive. At that point, you are done with your semester exam, but not until you do that. If you have any questions, make sure you guys let me know. Uh, make sure you go through and check each step of the process. That you make sure you don't leave any steps out. Once again, check with me if you have any questions.